I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some rules which help us solve questions relating circles. The rule number six is tangent and radius intersect at 90 degrees. So whenever we have a circle, then the tangent to the circle makes 90 degrees with the radius. So in this figure, we have a circle O, tangent PQ, radius OQ. Both radius and tangent will intersect at 90 degrees, forming a right triangle OPQ. You need to find the length of OP in this particular question. You could also have a question something like this. Let's say we have a line which seems to be a tangent and we are given that with the center we make an angle of let us say 30 degrees. In that case what will be the angle at the center O? Right? So that could be a question. We could have questions of the form that if we have a tangent and if we connect a exterior point on the tangent line with a point inside the circle so that the triangle formed has dimensions let me give you some dimensions let's say 5 10 and 15 then is this point, let's call this point G, center of the circle. Right? All these diagrams are not to the scale, so be careful, you have to do your calculations to show the result. Okay, so let's begin with the very first one. Since we know that PQ is tangent angle PQO equals to 90 degrees, right? So we have a right triangle and in right triangle OP square should be equal to QP square plus OQ square and OP will be square root of that, perfect? So we can now calculate the length OP as 10 square plus 6 square square root 10 squared is 100, 6 squared is 36, so we get 100 plus 36 square root. So 136 square root is, is what we get. Uh, you write this as, as equal to, let's write 100. Uh, let me use the calculator. I mean, 136 square root, right? So which is, this can be divided by 4, right? So 4, when you divide this by 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 36. So you can get this as equal to, let me extend this, 136. So if I divide this by 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and 16, 4 times 4. So what we get is 2 square root 34 as the length OP, right? So you can always use the calculator to figure this out. But I didn't really do it since many times calculator is not allowed for such questions, right? So we'll write this as 2 square root 34. <clears throat> let's look into the second triangle, which is, let's say, STO. Now since ST is a tangent, it makes 90 degrees with the radius R. The angle SOT should be equal to, the sum of these three angles is 90 plus 180, I mean. <coughs> so the angle at O should be equal to 90 minus 30 degrees, since this is 90, right? So we can write that the angle SOT 
is equal to you could also say 180 degrees take away 30 take away 90 degrees correct and that gives you 90 minus 30 which is 60 degrees so this angle will be 60 degrees now here let's say we have a b c a b and g as our points now the question is is a b tangent to the given circle that could be one question let's say question question one or the question could be question could be is g center of the circle so we could have this kind of question right we could say is g the center of the circle or it could be is a b tangent to the given circle right provided circle is a circle g right where g we assume to be at the center is it okay or the question could be is g center of the circle so this question can come in these two forms either way what you have to do is you have to check uh, what is 10 square plus 5 square equals to. Now 10 square plus 5 square is equals to 100 plus 25, which is 125. The given hypotenuse to say AG, AG in our case is equals to 15, AG square will be 15 square and 15 square is not 125 right so 15 square you can check 15 square is equals to 225 not 125 15 square is 225 since ag is not the hypotenuse so answer for either of these questions will be no right so definitely this is not equal to 15 square right since that is the case so either of these questions relating to that diagram the answer will be no I hope it helps you to understand how to apply the knowledge of relation between tangent and radius which we are calling rule 6 for problems relating to finding angles and solving questions with tangents and circles. Thank you for watching. Feel free to post questions and subscribe to my videos. Thank you.